Hey guys, Laurie from Shade3D here. Today we are going to talk about the very big update of Shade3D version 14.1.1, the 3D printing assistant. First, let's open our 3D model, a cute little cat. Now we are going to open the 3D printing assistant to check if there is something wrong with this cat. From the split view tab, where we got four views of our model, we are going to click the 3D printing tab in the workspace. Note that you can also access the 3D printing assistant in the control bar by clicking this little icon, the 3D printing assistant icon. I personally prefer to access it from the workspace here because it will lock the 3D printing assistant on the left side of your screen compared to a floating window. Okay, there we go. We got the 3D printing assistant on the left side of the window and you can see that our model has changed a little bit. We got red lines, highlighting some problems in our model. But first, let's take a look at the 3D printing assistant. You can see that we basically have three clickable parts here. Batch check and autocorrect. We'll search the model for problems that will make 3D printing process impossible or difficult and we'll correct them. Add thickness and make watertight. If it's necessary, this button will give thickness to your model and will merge all objects into a watertight mesh. And the last but not least, export. Your shed 3D scene will be exported as an STL file that will allow you to 3D print your object. Okay, so let's click the first tab, batch check and autocorrect. You can see that we arrive on another menu with three other tabs. But we are interested in the first one, Shade Thin Check and Correction. We got two icons in the upper right corner, one with a magnifying glass and the other one with a magnifying glass and a hammer. So let's click the first one. We can see that the 3D printing assistant is detecting many errors in this model, classified as non-polygon shape, overlapping elements, discontinuous faces, non aryotable surface, border edges, non-planar faces. What does it mean? Well, by clicking this little bubble up here, you can access a menu where you will find definitions of all these errors. It's very well done and explained, so I would recommend that you spend some time exploring this part of our 3D printing assistant. I really like the sample shape, where you can see a before and after example of how an object gets ready for 3D printing. So let's go back to our cat. I will now click the second icon in the upper right corner, the one with a magnifying glass and a hammer. Whoa! You can see that the number of errors has really decreased. But still, we have two sets of errors remaining, so let's click the second icon of the upper menu, the one with the red hammer. For my non-polygon shape, if I click selection, I can choose to convert it to polygons. Done. For the non-planar faces, I can either triangulate them or leave as is. Even if I leave as is, it will still be 3D printable, but I choose to triangulate them. OK. Hey, so now we have a zero error model. So what's next? We are going to make this model watertight by clicking on the third icon, accessing a menu where we can choose to add thickness or here to switch to make watertight. On this list, I want to select all my shells and just click make watertight and boom one object perfectly watertight and almost ready to be 3d printed almost because you still have one more step to go exporting your object to an stl file so by clicking the last icon here we end up on stl export click export name your model and it's done well that's it folks and now you are ready to 3D print your cat or your cats. As you can see, I've already done it myself. Different sizes, different colors. So now it's up to you. Thanks for watching.